Hi everyone, so this is a third lesson of, um, sorry, the third video for the first lesson of the differentiation. I'm just using a room that I've not recorded in before, and the setup is ever so slightly different. So I'll just be kind of regularly checking stuff to make sure things are working all right. Right, so, um, are we on this episode? No, we're there. That's where we are for the third third vid of the first lesson. Sorry about that. Right, so everything we did for finding equations of tangents and normals and stationary points works with more complex stuff. So it says here, find and classify the stationary points. So first thing I want to do is differentiate it, because I know that. So f dashed of x, so that'll be a 2 e to the 2x, because I differentiate the 2x is the different, minus 4. Now I know it's stationary when f dashed of x is equal to 0. So 2e to the 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. If I rearrange it, take ln, so I'm going to have 2x is ln2, so x is a half ln2. There, so I found it. Now, really, I guess I should find it. doesn't tell me to, but really, maybe I should find the coordinates. So it says find. I'm just going to put an arrow to there. Uh, I'm going to put the coordinates in. So I need to sub the half ln x into the e formula. So I'll get y equals e to the two lots of a half ln2. So if you think about how that's going to work, the two and the half will cancel. Let's make sure that mic's still working. The two and the half will cancel, and I've got e to the ln of two, and that's going to cancel. Then I've got minus four lots of a half ln2. So that's going to give me a minus two ln2. So that, the e and the ln will cancel. I've got two minus two ln2. So the coordinate would be a half ln2 is my x value and 2 minus 2 ln2 as my y value. And you've got to be happy with working in exact form. So I've got my stationary points, so now I want to classify them. So remember to classify them if the max or min, I want to find the second differential. differential. So f double dash of x. So if I differentiate the two lots of e to the 2x, I get 2 times by 2 e to the 2x. So 4 e to the 2x. And the minus 4 disappears. Right, so I'm going to put in my x equals a half ln2. So my f double dash of x is 4 e to the 2 lots of my half ln2. So the 2 and the half cancel, the e and the ln cancel. I get f double dashed as being a value of 8. So we know, so because f double dashed of x is greater than 0, it must be a minimum at x equals a half ln2. There we go. So that's the first example done. So we'll look at this second one. So everything we did before, a normal differentiation, we can do with these slightly more complex looking equations. <coughs> So it says the curve has an equation y equals x plus 2 sine x. Find the stationary points. Right, so once again, I've got to differentiate it. So x becomes a 1. Remember, if you're doing anything sine, cos, or anything like that, always draw your little clock face. So sine goes to cos. So that's 2 cos x there. We know it's stationary when dy by dx equals 0. So I've got 1 plus 2 cos x is 0. Take the 1 across and divide through by 2. Uh, double check this. Look, I'm in radians. There. So make sure your calculator's in radians. 